Hello everyone, I'm the Solar Gamer, and welcome back to Civilization V Brave New World as Netherlands. Yes, and we are still in our Ottoman War, or rather the Citadel War as I like to call it, because of the Citadels that essentially caused the war. He placed his here, took my land, and in retaliation, I placed mine here, and took his land. And that's what prompted him, uh, a little while after that, to attack me. Uh, didn't go so well for him, although we did suffer some casualties as well. We did take Lisbon, however, and we gave that to Portugal, which is great. However, uh, Portugal apparently still won't vote for us because the whole, um, un, un, what's it called? Uncontested love type thing is only if you bring them back from the dead. And I didn't. So, uh, giving them the city back was great for relations, but it's not going to give me that vote in the United Nations. People have told me that I could buy them out, I can buy their vote. I'm not sure how true that is, but then again, I've only ever won Diplomatic Victory once. So, I have no idea. I haven't experienced all the different uh, mechanics of it. So, they still might be a player, but if I have to spend my money, I have plenty of it. We are in a very good stance right now for uh, economics. Because we are making 194 uh, golds right now, and we only have one single trade route. And that trade route is only going to one of our cities. So we're not actually gaining any gold from it. It's giving... What is it giving? Um, food. Food to Susa. So, I mean, we are incredibly uh, well off when it comes to money. And I'm going to build some cargo ships back. Uh, I'm actually building them... Or queuing them up in uh, Rotterdam over here. So we're going to get our economy booming uh, once we get those back. So it's just, we're in a very, very good place right now. Uh, as for, uh, somebody mentioned last time, I could have placed my citadel one tile down and grabbed the crabs and the fish. Uh, well, the fish don't really matter because I can't really work them, but the crabs. And actually, I actually noticed that the hog, or Den Haag, I keep feeling like I'm saying that with too much phlegm at the end. Den Haag. Let's go like that. Uh, people have told me that that's actually a great pronunciation, but I keep saying uh, with extra phlegm and it sounds really, really wrong. Um, I don't know. I I've been trying to get it right. But uh, anyway, so the hog is actually going to grab the crabs in four turns. So that's good. We'll get our crab resource, although we already have one. Uh, we should be able to trade it to somebody. Like Byzantium, maybe. Yeah, Byzantium doesn't have a single crab. Perfect. Uh, they don't seem to be doing much over here. They did take this city, and they actually have kept it, which is quite interesting. Um, I, I really hope they take Mediolanum so that we don't have any, you know, contested cities on this side anymore when I do decide to go to war against Rome, if I do decide to go to war against Rome. And the only reason why I would is because of this big beastie thing right here. This is the launch tower for the Apollo program, uh, which he rushed. He rushed to rocketry so that he could build... Uh, rocketry, so he could build the Apollo program and start his science plans. It's not much, because you can literally just click this and go straight towards it. So, what I'm thinking is that if we grab Research Lab, right, we're gonna go ahead and rush the Atomic, um, the Manhattan Project, and hopefully rival anything he tries to make by blowing it up if we need to. That's my theory there. Uh, we'll also go ahead and try to grab uh, penicillin so we can increase our food. Uh, the trade route helps too, and the marines, of course. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll get this uh, show on the road, essentially. I don't think we'll be in this war for the Ottomans too much longer. I at least want Coimbrite and Foucault, as I've stated before. I don't need to push any farther. If I could take Istanbul, that'd be great. But I don't know about Bursa or Adern, because they're across a lake, and to get over there, I'd need to take Istanbul anyway. And then I'd have to reinforce everything over here, and then push, and then... Yeah, it's just gonna be a mess. Well, actually, that being said, I could just kind of sneak around here with my navy. Well, we'll consider that. Because if I get my navy on this side, I can take any one of these cities. Okay, that's that's a theory. If we take Funkal before we take Coimbra, I'm gonna move them over to Bursa anyway. Okay, let's go with that. Alright, let's finally stop the blabbering and get on with the war. Uh, you are still healing. You should be alright. Okay, next turn. That was five minutes of blabbering, but I got all the points I wanted out and uh, about. Yeah. I do apologize for not going as many turns uh, in these episodes as, you know, I... As I want to. But it is war, 
once war is done, it goes much faster. But every turn we have to deal with um, animations, which I love and I'm not getting rid of. But they do, but uh, they are time consuming. So we do have to deal with those. Uh, we have to deal with little things in here with our infrastructure and stuff like that. And uh, they have a decent navy in here. I only thought it was one ship. Well, that definitely confirms my stance on bringing my uh, submarines in. They're only up here. Although, I probably should bring a couple down here. I will see, definitely. Okay, these guys are going to flee for their lives because they are incredibly injured. Yeah, we lost the Lancer down here, sadly. I didn't know they could actually hit him from over here. Alright, Vilnius, take him out! Oh, that was... Why did you do that? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Alright. Do I want to divert my submarines? You know what? Yes. I want to divert two submarines down here because if I'm going to bring my navy in here, sure, they can handle their own. But, if I don't have to deal with their navy, then I could just come in here and swiftly take out these cities. So, we only need two in here, because it takes one hit to destroy a battle, or maybe two now. Oh, they're not unhappy anymore. Really? Hang on. Um, I keep clicking the wrong thing when I want to go to happiness. Damn it. That's alright. That is alright. We'll get them eventually. In fact, if we take out some of their luxuries, that... They're going to be screaming for mercy. <laughs> uh, so we might end up doing something like that. Now that would be suicide. Go I mean, I could kind of... Oh, there's a phone call. All right, and I'm back. Sorry about that. So, I don't know what I was saying. I, I completely lost my train of thought. Uh, <laughs> right, we're going to go in here to kind of destroy this stuff or destroy him. But that's... No, because I'm going to get immediately destroyed by the city. And I don't want to do that. So we're just going to sit there. Yeah. I'll just sit there. Thank you. Uh, right. We are bringing over our navy. Keep it coming. We can attack up to... Oh, actually here. Perfect. One, two... They can only attack up to two tiles, I believe. So we can sit there. Okay. As for you two, you're coming in here. Okay, and you guys are... crap. Oh, there was... yes, that's right. Give me that. And head this way. There's also another one that I see in here that we can kind of cut off on the other side. And we're sending these two down here before we get cut off by Cersei to deal with all this stuff. Okay, you want, an, you want a promotion. Interesting. Uh, I'm going to give you open terrain, I think. Yep. And push you back. Right. You're getting pushed up this way. Okay, we're opening up a new front over here so we can get our new artillery in here to kind of attack Coimbra from a different side. I do need to get you out of there. So switch. Wait. What? I could have moved over here if I didn't switch. Well, I think I might have lost him. Ah, oh, crap. Uh, I don't... That was ridiculous. I don't know why, um... Unless there's a road here. Oh, there is a road there. God dang it, Ryan. Pay attention. <laughs> oh, well. It's fine. We'll go ahead and destroy this artillery so he can't do anything at least. Again, using the faster animations mod. Oh, what? Well, excuse you, buddy. There you go. Goodbye. Right. Bum, bum, bum. We can attack the city of Fukal now. I'm not sure if it's up to... Th Is it up to three tiles away? 
No, it's up to two tiles away that they can shoot. So I'm fine right there. I can move you up one as well. Sadly, Funkal is another city that uh, you know, can only attack once. That's a... Uh, well, Bursa is actually one that we can attack three times. So that's really good. Uh, I'm sorry, three times, meaning I could put three destroyers around their city. Okay, you're done. Come on down. Anybody else? Oh, we can actually upgrade all these guys now. Or maybe not. That's right, because these are 460 each. Oh, man. That is just insane. Battleship's coming down, though. And you're all set, so come over here and start working on the railroad again. So we can get some extra production to Rotterdam. Defensive... Uh, yes. Yeah, okay, I like that. Thank you very much. Defensive pact. That definitely works for... Um, yeah, if we're going to work as like a alliance type thing, I definitely want it with uh, Germany as well, because I want to protect any country over here, really. Oh, yes, they're attacking Nisea. That's perfect, and uh, my camera was just moving out of the way for some reason. Interesting. Oh, no! Damn it. Yeah, that's that's definitely my fault. I am really sorry for that, guys. Holy crap! Well, actually, now the Ottomans can't do a damn thing because they just destroyed their only melee unit. So that's perfect, actually. Trespassing in Valletta. What? Oh, Valletta's down here. That's right. Okay. That's fine. Alright, keep the suppression up. Keep destroying their naval units. Please. There's an Ottoman frigate up here, which is perfect. We'll destroy that. Uh, defensive pact with Maria ended. Well, we'll get that back. We will make a world war. Mark my words. All right. Whoa. What? 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 There we go. I don't get out of there. <laughs> Battleship, come on down. Destroyer, come on down. We can go right there. And move you in here. Attack the city! Our newest battleship is actually going to arrive pretty soon. Okay. Let's come down this way. I'm not sure where that... There's the battleship. I want to destroy that first. Alright. Attack it. And destroy it. Because that was the only thing that could really do enough damage to these submarines to actually destroy them. Uh, the frigate won't do much. Declaration of friendship with Portugal has run its course. We'll get that back as well. Discuss yes. joint friendship. Absolutely. Okay, another battleship. Perfect. We'll go ahead and grab naval units again. Naval units again. And one more time. Now, I have this list of promotions... Uh, that someone was graciously enough to give me that I had never seen before. So it actually shows you the trees and what you need to get to get certain promotions. And I actually didn't look at the, the naval one before I did that one. Um, but for artillery, I, I, I'm going to get the third tier of the basic uh, open terrain or rough terrain thing. That way there I can get indirect fire and then after that I can get logistics. I think that's the route. Anyway, it's going to be um, that way so I can shoot twice with artillery. Because that's definitely what I want. We have a great, uh, great, who is he? Artist? Uh, yeah, great artist, sorry. Uh, Paul Gogwin. Gojwin? Sure, I don't know. Uh, yeah, we'll grab this. The Upapa Schnecklud. <laughs> yeah, there's no way I was going to say that right. No way. Alright, keep attacking Coimbra. Let's move you this way. Okay, and the railroad to Rotterdam is actually done. Hmm. 
what else to do? Really nothing, to be honest. Uh, go sit in Professor Garde. I could get you started on this act. Yeah, you know what? Get started on this. The road to Ekbatana. Okay, sit. Just, uh, fortify, please. Uh, people have been asking you why I fortify rather than, um, fortify until healed. is because I don't want to wake the unit up. He's he, he gets a defensive bonus when in fortify mode, and if he gets woken up, it destroys that. So I want to keep him fortified. He does heal while he's in fortification, so it's basically the same thing. It just doesn't wake him up when he's, uh, ready. Okay, you guys just sit tight. Fortify as well. Bombers. There's nothing out, and I don't want to really attack the city at this point. So, yeah, just uh, heal. Everybody heal up. Okay, where is... Dang it! So close. Sit there. Roman battleship. Oh, look at that! That's interesting. It's got, like, a stripey thing at the top of its, uh, or the, the front of his ship. Uh, that looks like it's not finished. The texture. I don't know, though. I don't know what the Roman battleships look like. Okay, we're getting very, very close to, uh, making some decent progress in this war. I just, uh, I don't know. Go back and sit in Passer Garde. That's fine. I do want to actually annex some of these cities, so we're going to start annexing them now. In fact, we'll annex them all at this point, and we'll just have them work on uh, courtyards, or courtyards, courthouses after they're working on their current thing. In fact, you know what? Bump those up. They're more important. Ekpatana, why don't you work on one as well? And last but not least, Susa. Good. Uh, yes, friends with Portugal, absolutely. I'm glad you are, uh, friends with her, too. <laughs> Our navy is still moving around. In fact, I'm going to head, I'm going to go ahead and move these, uh, these ships all the way over to Bursa. Because there's no need of, you know, keeping them in Funchal. And there's stuff to take, obviously. They have tons and tons of cargo ships running around. Which is stupid on their part. But I understand they need to fuel in a, you know, a, a nice war economy here. But it does seem they're slowing down. They don't have much uh, in the way of military units, actually, besides artillery. Or navy. Yeah, you can attack them as many times as you want, but you're not going to take... Oh, maybe you will. Maybe you will. Okay, I'm coming... Malaka, just wait a minute. I'm gonna get there very, very shortly. Oh, you son of a... Well... I don't know how many turns these... It was right there, right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two... I have to wait two turns! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna send this one down, but this one can stay. You are going down, because need, we need to help Malaka. All right, let's destroy these wonderful ships of theirs, so they don't leave the bay. The wolf pack has made it to the Bay of Simba. And keep attacking Coimbra, it's not doing much damage, but at least we can keep something on them for the time being. Uh, that, that's just, it's gonna help us. Break them up, put them on fortify. Right, a bomber. We cannot rebase them to Groningen because I believe the max uh, aircraft is six until we get airports. So we're going to need to take Funkal for me to do really much of anything here. What is your range? Yeah, there's not much I can really do. I'm going to move you all the way up to... You know what? Just Amsterdam. Sit in Amsterdam. Okay. Come on down. Well, move these guys first. Where is that? There it is. Take it! Another extra 200 golds, which is perfect. Okay, and, um... Keep attacking. Another battleship coming on down. Let's go! Uh, I, can I upgrade? Yeah, it's for 
60, that's right, yep. So close to having a fully upgraded navy. So close. And then, of course, we have to upgrade our freaking uh, foreign legions. Which we only have four of now. Because I lost that one down here. Which was a mistake on my part, because I didn't realize I could just go there. If I could, then it would have been saved, but... I wasn't looking. What else is new? <laughs> okay, so we've actually built the uh, the two barracks. So what I'm going to do is... Oh, no. Oh, son of a... God dang it. Ah, I have to build them all up here, too. All right, well, we'll do that. They're only three turns each. Or two turns, or whatever. They're, they're pretty cheap. That really sucks. Oh, man. Right, just sit there. It's going to take you two turns for that to come back out, but if I can cripple their economy, then that's definitely what I want to do. Oh. What is this? Yes, we are going to... Oh, Classical Era. Crap. We're not going to get as much. We're going to get four, but it's still, uh, still pretty decent. Crit the landmark. Yeah, because it's based on uh, how old the object is. So, obviously, the max can be Ancient Era, which is five. And uh, anything... I, in fact, I think archaeological sites can only go up to Medieval Era. Or Medieval Era. So, you can only ever get a minimum of three. Okay, I might be wrong. I might be uh, able to go up to the Renaissance Era as well. I'm just... I, I think it stops in the Medieval Era. Don't know, though. Uh, yes, keep building this railroad, please. We need to hook up all of these cities so they can produce... Uh, what is it? It's up... 10% uh, better? Allow extremely quickly through tiles. Additionally, connecting it to your... Give them a production bonus. It doesn't actually say. I remember it did say at one point, but I don't know. No, okay, it's just a production bonus. Whatever, that's fine. Okay. Um, but we have made it to a perfect spot where I can say that, uh, we can save it right here, pick it back up next episode, and hopefully crush Coimbra and Funkal. But we'll see. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and definitely stay tuned for more.